Hey, I'm Cinderkey. Welcome back to God of War. Um, I decided not to just start the episode at the bridge, just in case there's some more story stuff. Because uh, Ymir and Atreus were talking uh, oh. in the boat. So I'm afraid that if I go across, that they're just going to keep on talking, and there might be something interesting. So I don't, of course, I don't want to cut that out of the story. Of course, we could just use this and get back really fast. Okay, yeah, that sounds better. Open the door, please? <laughs> well, you gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Why don't you tell me how all this began with Boulder? He just knocked on our door. Boulder of Asgard just knocked on your door? Yeah, he just showed up and started a fight. He said he wanted to know something. He said, I know what you are. <sighs> oh, well, we'll circle back to that later. What exactly did he want to know? I was under the floor by then. He said I already knew what he wanted. Perhaps he mistook me for another. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Mimir is helping us figure out why Baldur of the Azir came to our door. I know what you are. You know what I want. Who does he think we are? Uh, a god and a son of a god. So if uh, Faye, if Faye was a god herself, then you're you're a, you're a god. If Faye was human, then you're a demigod. And it's Mimir, not Ymir. I don't know why I was saying Ymir. Hey, how do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Yeah, the one you told us not to <laughs> use. <laughs> well, not you, but Kratos. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, but I want to translate the thing over here because I feel like that was, that was a long time ago and I finally want to know what's happening. I wonder if the serpent will speak to us, like, if it's going to be a magic thing where it's translated in where we can understand him, or it's just going to be like we talk to Mimir and Mimir is going to talk ah, to the serpent. I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Rota! Whoa! The name made it light up! It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Hmm. Can we do that? So that's another quest? Valkyries. More quests and puzzles. Alright. But let's let's continue on. We'll do this and then if it gives us another open spot, then we'll we'll stop and we'll do the other dwarf's Good. quest. Now put my lips to the horn. <laughs> Wait, you have no lungs. Whatever, magic. It's just magic. Wake up! We want to be friends! Well, we're not enemies, but we want to be, like, actual friends. Oh, you're way too big to be acceptable. Why is he doing that? Odin had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world suffering absolutely abhors the fat dauber. He was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. Alright, wish me luck. Lads. 
he remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Please be nice. He knows the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. Um. Uh, making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need <laughs> to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is, and it's not far. He looked kind of mad for a moment there. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me, I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not friends. He wants us dead. Uh, Wait, well, look. I think. The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat. And we'll go from there. All right. I think there's one on the left up here. There's a new shrine. Sweet. So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Ooh, okay, we could do that other side quest. That might be a good idea. Keep rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you were in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Then tell it! Ah! I, I, I just want him to, like, stop, stop, and just tell me everything. Tell me everything right now. Tell me everything right now. Tell me right now. The River Pass shop. Ah oh, man, if I want to do that side quest, I got all all the way back there. Ugh. Okay. Uh. Okay. So he said. Oh, right there. So literally, just turn around. All right. Yeah, because that side quest is pretty far away. We'll do that later. I think we'll be fine. Can you tell us another story while we're, uh, I almost said driving. Can you tell us another story while we're rowing? Or I'm rowing. Kratos is rowing. Whatever. That looked like a giant right there for a second. Ah, Super Lord of the Rings vibes. Ah, that's cool. Be 
leaves here? Looks like we have to. Alright. Oh. You were taken from this realm too early. What? Are you? You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. No They've taken freaking three way. of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Okay, we'll do that. No, don't don't play off the kid's grief. Stupid ghost. If you want to ask for help, ask for help, but don't promise something that you probably can't deliver on. Uh, okay, so this will open our. Ah, good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Can that stay open? Oh, are you kidding me? Two? Oh, I can't activate my range yet. Oh, I can! You think you're angry? Oh, you freaking elf! Don't you dare! Okay, now I smash you with this guy. I. Where are you? Are you? Oh, wait, dark elves. Where are you? There you are. Get off the boat. Come on. Maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out look while we... you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Yeah, he doesn't want false hope. Okay. This. Not the boat. Dang it. Oh my gosh. Freaking troll can't. Okay, so now we can continue on. Good grief. I wonder, does it show the bones' locations on the map? There, there, and there. Is it only three? That's not. That's not bad. And. Okay, that might. That might be a good. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll do that. And then we'll look for the chisel. Because I wanted to do a side quest. Uh, another side quest, but that's so far away. So, or maybe it's closer than I think it is. I can't believe Odin and Freya were ever married. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. 
but Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Weird. Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed for Odin. And as war with the Vanir raged, I could see what he really wanted awesome. with his bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, Freya agreed. For a while there, he really turned on the charm. He seemed happy. He seemed interested in making her happy. He granted her so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Great. Some mad, crazy... Wait, can I even get these bone pieces? Because if it's up here, I can't get it yet. Because that, that area is locked off as far as I can see. Yeah, okay, so that's locked up. So that was completely pointless. Whatever! We got to learn a little bit more about the story and the characters, so that's good. So I'm guessing that Odin's experimentation meant that he killed or murdered or experimented on Freya's people. And what does that mean about Fey, uh, the Atreus's mom? This we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Grimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOK! struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son. But in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night. So far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. You'll see. Oh. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Oh my gosh. Good grief. A wolver! A dangerous beast. We will take him down together. Okay, you're dead. Hold it, Morgan! Just spam attacks. Spam attacks. Nope. Nope. Don't do that. Great, now we got werewolves. The tip of one, yes. 
Very, very giant chisel. Was he eating? He was eating a person. I thought he was, like, eating a fish. No, he was eating a person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, ooh, okay, so it's that. But lightning magic stone stuff. Darn, that didn't seem to do anything. Oh, I I don't oh, get hurt. Trick, lad. Thanks. His idea. Really? Okay, yes, I take credit. <clears throat> I mean, yes, plan this all along. It's awesome. Thank you. All the goodies. Uh, and then there's that magic mirror. It kind of reminds me of, um, Van Helsing. When they walk through the ice mirror to Dracula's homeworld. Just checking. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. So, guy was working away, his son wanted to be a warrior, he wanted his son to be a blacksmith like him. Uh, they, he was working away, got, eh, okay, he already told us this story, but... I just... Was it just... Is everyone just afraid of Ragnarok? What exactly... It's magically locked. Uh, still, why exactly were the giants, I mean, was it just warring factions, or? I hope that was the right thing to do, to smash that. Sorry, I'm just curious about how the characters interact in as far as like the war between the giants I see something up there. and the gods oh oh wow um holy crap yes still keeping with the lizard man look I guess I wish we had a better talisman, but I'm guessing we're going to be able to... Yeah, you already have the good one equipped. I'm guessing we'll uh, be able to buy one or find one. Pretty soon. So Thor just murdered this giant and then... Oh. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. Don't tell me it's buried in his skull. That's another thing, like, he's so big, it would take, like, what, years for him to rot away? I'm ready if you are. Worse than that, it would take, like, he'd be frozen, so he may never rot. He may just stay here forever. And that's his freaking hand? And then, dun 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 dun, dun face. Poor guy. Wonder if his son. How many of are you? Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay, let's get angry. Smash bad wolves! Go back to, uh, uh, wait, where are we now? Midgard? Go, uh, Okay, 
Okay, let's see what this looks like. Okay. Oh my. Oh my. I think you got him. Okay, gross. That was. Oh, that was gross. Ugh. And I'll find light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Well, let's find out. It didn't exactly do anything I was hoping it would do. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. Uh, better equipment, new, new something. Oh! Okay. Oh my gosh, you keep getting me better stuff, but it keeps cutting my cooldown. Oh my gosh, minus 13. Ah, might as well equip it. It's it's a lot it's a lot better and our stats are looking a lot nice, but like our cooldown suffers like really badly. Oh well. Oh well. Getting a lot stronger. Okay, let's see if we can get closer Atreus, and to me. Okay, I'm coming. Doesn't do anything. Can you read that? Read it. To Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. For that, they loved and worshipped him here. Okay, where to? Hey, Harden World Tree Sap. That's Andy. Oh, okay. I was wondering how this worked. Oh, and there's a thing. Oh, man, there's going to be a puzzle or something. gonna be a chest up there or something I didn't mean to do that but okay we need this for something ah oh, there's the chest over there oh man yeah he was impaled in his skull ow okay where's the thing oh okay thank you Atreus <laughs> don't fall kid Uh, this one. Oh my gosh, what are you? Oh, don't you call enemies or something? Uh, it was while I was exploring, I, uh, I think I found one of these someplace else and it, like, summoned spirits or something. Okay, we'll do that real quick, but I want to see if we can open this. That should be right, shouldn't it? Isn't that that one? Up there. See it? Uh no. Oh, yeah, that. That. No, I see that. Yeah. Okay. And then this one over here. Wrong angle, dang it. Come on. Ah, cheese and crackers. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, screw it. Okay, I'll do this. 
And then after I do it, we'll start the next episode. So we'll end it here, and we'll find this chisel. Dang. Oh, look at his beard. It's like blowing with the wind. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, it sucks. The, the guy's dead, so that's sad, but... Dang. I thought that was Thor's hammer at first, but... I'm guessing Thor is a little bit more... He might be Iron Size. Maybe he's not, since he's half giant. Uh, but they said... What they say? Like, not all giants are the same. The giants range from different sizes. Alright, so we'll leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, things are getting a lot more exciting, and we we have a head now. So, <laughs> alright. Uh, uh, I don't know where to get, go from there. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye!